So the Taylor Road Trip has made its way to the Players Lounge at Texas, where we, we found some DBs to hang out with, Holly. We've got Brandon Jones here, the senior, and we've got the true sophomore, Caden Stearns, who was also lights out this season. Uh, but Brandon, I want to start with you because you had to see the young buck like grow up. So do you have a good story about Caden from last season? Um, I would say Caden was the type of guy coming in, he really didn't have many flaws, which is rare, especially a guy at that age. Obviously, there's stuff that he could correct on the field. Um, but we, we, we roomed together for away games and home, home games, so uh, I got to lo know a little bit about Caden, the type of person he was. Mm -hmm. uh, everything was pretty cool. He seemed, like, he seemed like a pretty cool guy, and then, you know, we just were catching up, and he told me he liked to watch Animal Planet for fun. Oh, oh Animal yeah, Planet. Animal Planet. He's hmm. Wolf, Wolf of BKR. Oh, you know, he's, no. He's like Animal Planet. <laughs> do you want to wanna answer why? I don't know. I was just interested. Animal, you know. What's your favorite animal? I like wolves. I mean, I like a lot of animals, but I think wolves would go number one. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, I don't know. They just because he's a wolf. Family oriented, you know. And they pack hunt in packs. The, pack the rule animals. of the pack. Yeah, and you know, the DB unit is my is my pet. So, pride myself on those guys and being around them and stuff like that. But uh, I don't just watch Animal Planet. I watch a little <laughs> bit of cartoons. It's, I mix it up. Sponge he makes it sound like cartoons is better than I Animal know. Planet. I know. I don't just watch Animal Planet. I'm I on watch the cartoon plan too. too. Yeah. yeah. Cartoons, don't get it twisted. Tom and Jerry action going. You know. Like old school. Way older than so you. you talk about the the pack, the DB pack, and I do think it's important because you guys have new eight new starters on defense. I mean, there's a lot of question marks about how good this defensive unit can be. Mm -hmm. So, what are you trying to build in that DB room so that the defense is good this year? Uh, again, just family, and you know, just the love and the bond because it just makes it that much more easier to play for one another as well as the defensive unit and. Um, Again, we got guys who can go and who want to play and who are hungry. So it's just about all putting that together and the puzzles together and just letting it work. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Welcome, nobody. Oh, oh. Told me oh. oh okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did he walk in here with his Thorpe? I think he just came oh with Oh, my his God. Award. You walked in here with your Thorpe award. I'm leave this here for motivation. Oh. Can I leave this for motivation? I love this. I'll take the lunch. I finished work. You've heard of a mic drop in an interview? That's a Thorpe drop. Yeah, it's a Thorpe that, drop. That, that, that's was the, you're the that was smooth. You're the realist. That's what you're you the realist. That's how you I'm come into an interview. I'm going to leave it yeah, that for motivation. Yeah. No yeah. I was back in this prime. No, you take care of that. That All was in the prime. When we get one, you win your own, then give your mind back. I like it. I like it. Oh and my you know, gosh, that is so funny. Them. That's great. Can I hold the Thorpe? Would you, can I, can I just yeah, hold it? Yeah, let's pass it around. It's right, a little it's heavy. It's the middle of camp, Holly, you know. We don't have enough energy <laughs> to be passing the Thorpe Award around like okay. that. Okay. Oh, I love him. Oh, he is? Yeah. Okay. This, I'll just be here if you need me. We've been waiting for someone to give us an award for something, so we're just yeah. glad Thank that Michael Huff could yeah. do that for us. <laughs> okay, question about Tom Herman and just changing the culture here. So we were practice today, about that. and he just went off on you guys about what are you saving it for when the blank rep and, and i loved that because practice turned up after that so brandon what has he changed about the culture what's different i would say the overall want to for a team obviously i'm the old head in, in the room so uh, <laughs> i've been a part of two different programs i've seen you know the good and bad of each and just the just the energy just the overall brotherhood to, to make sure that we have with each other is, has been really, really big. And I think he also brought us a different competitive focus. We've had some of the top recruiting classes the last couple of years. So obviously, you're getting more and more talent mm -hmm. you know, that walks through the door. So uh, I, I would say the overall competitive focus and you know, what we pride ourselves on as a team. You know, we pride ourselves on being a one and know, attacking each rep and each play. We also pride ourselves on being the most physical team on and off the field. So, I think you said something interesting, but that's also completely intangible, like connection. What does that look like? How, when you say it's changed, how has it changed for this team? I would say the connection has, has changed, and it's pretty visible from mm -hmm. our standpoint. But uh, what a lot of people don't see is how, how far, you know, just being able to communicate and be on the same level with people, how far that can go. Um, when it involves having a relationship on and off the field, um, 
you know, even as Shaden, I know as a defense as a whole, just as a defense as a whole, and even the offense, even adding the offense too, we're just so so close um, off the field, and that you know that really pays dividends. And in our in our you know in our in our role that we play, we are always communicating. We always have to be on point with, with the defense. We always have to get a call around the horn to everybody. So just being able to have that have that relationship off the field really helps on the field, just being able to communicate and knowing that the guy next to you has your full trust and you have his full trust. Are we going to talk about um, LSU? Yes. <laughs> we can absolutely talk about LSU. Actually, Brandon, this is a good question for you because you've been here. This is your fourth year. LSU comes to town. Where does it rank on your list of big time games that you played it in a, a Longhorns jersey? <clears throat> Help us understand. It'll for sure be a, a top game. Uh, we've, we've always, since I've been here, we played uh, Notre Dame. We, they're a top 10 team at the time. Um, USC two years in a row, and now LSU. Uh, obviously, they're a really, really good team. Um, they have some really good players, and it, it just shows Last year, we were able to show playing an SEC team in the Sugar Bowl how um, how physical and how aggressive we can be, and how we could play with. In my opinion, we could we can play with any team up there that's ranked in the you know the top teams in the country. So it's for sure going to be an exciting game, mm -hmm. and no better place to have it here in my senior year <laughs> yeah. to be able to soak all that in. It's going to be really fun. Okay, Sam said after that Sugar Bowl and that big win over Georgia, Texas is back. <laughs> How do you guys answer that question? <laughs> do you guys hate that question? Yeah. yeah. You hate it? You hate it. Yeah, but are you? We just need to know. Like, I want to know how you feel. Like, what do you think internally? I mean, I don't, personally, I don't think we've never really, we're always in a discussion when it talks about college football. It's just about, you know, putting it together. So I don't never think we really fell off necessarily. Um, but in the topics, I really don't kind of get mm -hmm. bought into all that mm -hmm. stuff. It's, Playing ball and just go from there. James, like Texas never left. We were dormant yeah, for a little like, while. A little while. <laughs> okay, so um, we ha I do have a question for you. In case you didn't know, we're doing seven camps in seven days. So we're playing seven on seven, basically, right? Mm -hmm. We're in day five. Okay, so we've taken a flight basically every day. Do you think that Holly and I are more tired than you guys midway through camp? Keep in mind, we're like way older than you and not as hydrated. And we don't take ice baths. So taking planes every day. Taking planes every day. We've been driving. We've been driving too. Yeah, that's, those flights can. Those flights can't take a toll on you. I, yeah. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. um, it's that hitting. <laughs> 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 getting heat. But getting hit no, though. No, no, no. <laughs> that Texas heat. Is We've only been tackled a couple of times yeah. on this trip, so <laughs> there's a point. Okay, there. you gotta be. You gotta be. Okay, Caden, pop out your seat and let's just like kick back. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of our time. We appreciate you letting us uh, drop through the lounge, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have zero motivation to end this interview or get out of this chair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.